At long last, the wait is over. A warm welcome to Wembley. This is Derek Ray, joined in the commentary box by Stuart Robson. And we're approaching kickoff time in what promises to be a spectacular FA Cup final. It's Everton facing Manchester City. Well, Derek, as a youngster growing up, this was the day that every young footballer dreamt of. Playing in the FA Cup final, walking out in front of the 100,000 fans at Wembley, broadcast around the world, it still brings a tingle to my spine. And I'm really looking forward to this one. Number 17, Alex Iwobi. Number 11, Damari Gray. And number 9, Dominic... Gilles and here's the team for Everton. Jordan Pickford begins in goal. Connor Cody plays alongside James Tarkovsky in central defence. And leading the attack today is Dominic Calvert-Lewin. And a look at the starting 11 for Manchester City. Ederson begins in goal. Joao Cancelo starts with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Kevin De Bruyne plays alongside Rodri in the centre of midfield. And leading the line today is Erling Haaland. Looking forward to this one. Everton get the ball rolling. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Making progress. Oh, he fancies his chances. Holland. Gundogan. Oh, there's the goal that gives City the lead in the final. Will it prove to be decisive? Well, let's just take another look at this pass from Haaland. He has so much vision, and when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. So, Everton restart the game, well aware that the pressure has been applied. How will they respond? Cody. Well, let's see if something comes of this. Alert defending. Walker. It's a promising city move. Joao Cancelo. It's with Joao Cancelo. It's with Laporte. Ruben Dias. Good use of the ball, but can they trouble the defence? Holland. And blocked for now. Is it going to be? That's a great stop. Well, his reflexes are so good there. That's a fantastic stop. deciding to go short with this one and with that the attack fizzles out Nathan Patterson
veering in field here but they took care of the situation defensively Rodri Erling Haaland De Bruyne now good vision can he get onto this Haaland De Bruyne that's high level goalkeeping well that's a fantastic save he's such a good keeper Delivering it. It hasn't come to very much. Foden. Holland. On to Gundogan. And the body in the way. Can he do it? And a goal! I'll tell you what, they're going to be very hard to catch now. Name on the trophy, maybe. Well, let's take another look, and it's a very good goal. And they deserve it, you have to say. They've been excellent. Goal. 2-0 now, and back on the way. Nicely cut out. Well, City, as the stats highlight, have had most of the ball. Well, at first glance, you would think a strong possibility of a red card. Let's see. And who knows, that might be the end of the story for them in this one. Well, I'm sure you're right. He's just lost his discipline there. It's an uphill battle now. Laporte, the ball with Rodri, Kevin De Bruyne, De Bruyne, gives it a go, tremendous block, bodies forward and the break looks on. And space for Everton in the wide position. A oh, fine hold-up play here. Edison was always likely to catch that one. And the referee's whistle. That will conclude the first half here at Wembley. And the second half underway after what was a sparkling first 45 from City. Can they repeat that in the second 45? And Bernardo Silva has it. On to Holland. Offside, a tight one. So making the substitution now. Holgate. A possession lost, intercepted.
And City get the throw in. Walker. Bernardo Silva sliding it through. It will be. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Over the touchline for what will be an Everton throw. Gray. And now Ducure. Cody. And a long way out. Just had to keep his concentration to the maximum. And he did. Trying to deliver it accurately. In it goes to alter the arithmetic and give them hope that they can turn this round. Well, here's another look at it. Certainly delivery into the box couldn't have been any better. And it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. So moving once more, and Everton right back in this contest now. Holland. Well, they have it again. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. They need to get bodies back. And a routine catch for the Brazilian. Rodri. Kevin De Bruyne. Well read to ease the pressure. Ducure. Teammates available. Firing it towards goal. Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes. And now both sides will make personnel switches. And he's fired over the corner. It hasn't come to very much. Cody. On to Carbert-Lewin. Surely the equaliser. That's a great stop. Well, his reflexes are so good there. That's a fantastic stop. Well, City are almost there. Not quite. They can't celebrate just yet. Stuart, what have you made of their performance in this match? Well, it's been a decent performance from them. They've certainly played the more expansive football. Oh, and... wait a minute, Stuart. Opportunity. Well, here it is again, and I have to say, the defending is so poor. They make so many bad decisions there. No wonder the keeper's exposed. Well, the action continues, and no shortage of goals. 3-1 as things stand. Substitution for Manchester City, coming off the pitch. Well, that's how to put in a clean tackle. Coming onto the pitch, number 10, Jack And showing fine vision. Oh, that's 
a goal at the wrong end. Well, it's every defender's nightmare. An own goal here. Well, as you can see, it came off him last. And as a result, it will be an own goal. So unfortunate. Too much defending going on in the grand scheme of things. 4-1. Nathan Patterson. A very good tackle. Silva. And the referee is going to add on four added minutes. Excellent passing. Well, I think a classic commentator's curse just then. Couldn't make the ideal pass. Well, that's a super ball over the top. And there goes the final whistle. The cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. Memories are being made. Well, just look at those scenes down there, Derek. What a contrast in emotions. Brilliant for the winners, despair for the losers. But overall, the right team won today. Yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity. Well, this is special for everybody at the club. What a great moment for any young player. And this is what you dream about when you start playing football. When you're playing in the playground, you want to win a cup. Brilliant moment. Yes, a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. Well, you can just see what it means to those players and the manager. That's fantastic stuff. There's always the element of chance at a cup competition. But my goodness, they've taken the rough with the smooth. And now they savour the moment. Full marks to the entire team. And now they get the chance to exhale and enjoy. They've been brilliant in this competition and so have the fans. They've really got behind their team. They've played a big part in this win. Just look at those faces in the crowd. Great stuff. Really a match made in heaven between players and fans. And these celebrations are going to continue for quite some time. And now the players get to relax a bit and enjoy having the pictures taken. Well, these photos will be cherished for years to come, won't they? Certainly ones to show the grandchildren.